now one last point is okay someone asked one very important question okay what will happen to this particular staging table you are keep on loading it some today only i loaded two times right so maybe for tomorrow or day after tomorrow the two will become 20 30 40 50 will that data in this particular data source table will be there or it will be removed okay so by default out of the box just give me one second where is source table okay so this is the table now you observe one important thing here two points will be covered when i open this one okay so data source that is the data source I'll open the data source also okay so this is the data source so far i think i loaded three times correct three times or two times no? three times whatever it is okay now the data is getting loaded in this particular table no? so three times let's say three times i loaded it that means same sometimes i am loading the same record now will it update the existing record so 900 record i loaded three times will it create three different records in the import set table or it will create only one record and it will update every time just this is a little confusing topic i am talking about import set table not target table every time you load the data it will go and generate a record on the import set table no? the data will be loaded into import set table right correct yes everyone correct yes okay that time i'm low i loaded this particular same sheet three times and in the same three times this sheet this number was there that means is that created three records in the import set table or not will no, i think no okay so that part we will see here so open the import set table where is this one this one is the import set table correct so just get the number field where is the number field number 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 do you see number field here okay and take the number field here this and all will learn more okay the more you practice now everything you will be slowly capturing everything okay so i i loaded two times okay so two times it generated two times here also but the difference is okay import run set no run set every time i load it separately capture a set here and it will generate a new record this record is different this record is different so there is a difference okay if i load one more time okay so it will again create one more set is that clear statement yes sir no? yes sir. okay i'm loading it for you okay just give me one more second right so before that just let me show one more thing okay before i load i will show one more thing okay so import set table okay totally how many records are there ma okay whatever the rows that we are loading into two two times okay so it is how many nine nine into two i think first time we loaded many okay and then nine correct so now i am loading nine so if i load nine now those nine will be added here this is the first point correct yes sir okay. let's load it now everyone understood this point ma right now okay two times we loaded okay every time you load it one runs okay it, it captures with this separate number called run set something okay so based on the set run import set uh, number it will capture so first time i loaded 19 16 second time i loaded 9 third time i am loading now okay so this time nine records are there so load records these records will separately come and store they they will come as a record but they will be categorized separately with a separate number here okay so loaded uh, hmm, loaded okay now refresh it okay so 25 become 34 okay so here somehow the number didn't come but you see in that now it is loaded it correct okay maybe yes once i say transform or something it will come i don't know but it came so this is first point that we need to discuss in this particular page second point is sir you are loading so many times okay 
So in the import set table, the data will store permanently. Okay, that's where the question came here. Correct? Yes or no? This is the question, right? Yes, ma? Okay. Yes. The answer yeah. is, by default, there is a job that will clear it, okay, for seven days. Okay. What is that job? So, go here and then say scheduled. Okay. Scheduled cleanups. Where you see cleanups here? Okay. Import the table, scheduled cleanups. Okay. In the scheduled cleanups, you have a job called this one and it runs for seven days. Okay. So, what is this? Anyone can tell me? What is this? Anyone can tell me? Yeah. Tables are where the data is, your import data is stored. Wherever you see something called new underscore something, what it is called as well? Scripting. API, API, API. It's a API or it's a script include. Simply it's a script include, okay? That means you are running some job to clean those things. So you are going to import a table, checking it, okay? Checking the time, okay? And then you are clearing it up. Okay, that and all you don't require now, but a simple thing is based on the number here. If you say seven here, that means seven days. Okay, it will check and then clear it up. Is that clear, everyone? The answer for this question is seven days. And let's say if someone will ask you, okay, can I make this one 14 days? Yes, you can do it. You are changing the out of the box configuration from 17 to 4, 7 to 14. Is that answered? Yes, sir.